I don't want you waking up years from now wondering what could have happened and who you could have been. Was the sort of documentary aspect always a part of it? You obviously come from that world. Uh, was that always something that you wanted to include? Yeah, it was. I, I feel like I, w I was interested in this idea that there might be a new way of telling a true story mm -hmm. that you haven't quite seen before. Um, you know, we're all familiar with going into the cinema and it says based on a true story or it says inspired by true events and then you kind of have that suspicion that then they just took a lot of artistic license and turned the whole thing into a kind of Hollywoodized version and this was such a bizarre and incredible story that it didn't really need masses of fictionalizing and exaggerating. This is a movie about people almost trying to live in a movie mm -hmm. and so there was there are very direct references to those to the movies that were inspiring their behavior in a way in their minds it starts out as Ocean's Eleven and it ends up as Dog Day Afternoon you know <laughs> so it starts as this thing where in their minds it's this kind of slick well-oiled kind of military operation and then it ends up in a kind of cluster f of you know something approaching kind of chaos so I kind of wanted the audience to be constantly reminded that this is real yeah they're real people this really happened so you feel it in a different way I think <laughs> 